What's up everyone, Deathwish back with another video today, and we are going to be covering Antonina. We're gonna talk about, is Antonina still worth it? What do, what do you need to be doing in prioritizing early game, as well as is she still worth it later game and things like that. So, if you guys enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It means a lot, I appreciate the support, and without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the video. Welcome back, guys. All right, we are going to go ahead and jump right into it. We are going to cover Antonina, all right? As you guys are probably familiar with, especially you guys that are later players in the game, things like that, Antonina is key. The short answer, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the the, the answer to the whole video and the entire uh, point of the video, the question, okay? Is Antonina still worth it? Yes, 100% Antonina is still worth it, and we are going to cover why today, and we're going to, going to go into detail today, and we are going to give you guys some, especially earlier server players that have might not realized this yet, we're going to go ahead and cover some things uh, as, as in regards to why Antonina is still really important especially early game all right so in my opinion Antonina needs to be the first officer you get right we've covered in some other videos some different uh officer approaches and things like that like Percy right for example a little bit of a side note right you get Percy statues automatically when you level Percy up getting le Percy to level level 60 automatically is going to completely max out all four of Percy's main skills and as a result go ahead and awaken her right war machine another example you can get his his statues in the alliance store Antonina when you're early game you get for us the equivalent of what we've got now in in terms of players that have been around on the game for a while right we get once a month we get the lucky wheel right and that grants us universal tokens when you guys are early game you guys get some officer specific wheel events right and when Antonina is one of those events and guys I cannot especially if you're an earlier player I cannot stress enough to you guys when that Antonina wheel comes through make sure you max it out if possible do not worry about the other officer wheels if you do not have the means to gather the gold all right make sure you save up your gold and hit the wheel anytime it's a universal lucky wheel universal statue lucky wheel or if it's an antonina specific lucky wheel those are the two wheels that you guys need to make sure you prioritize for reference, it's going to cost you about 130 ish 130 to 140 thousand gold every time the wheel comes around to max all 100 spins of course you can go over the 100 spin limit but i personally don't i don't necessarily advise it yes you can get a few extra statues but i personally get the the 100 spins so i get the the um 45 statues that come with it for getting the 100 spins and then i i go ahead and stop and i start saving up my gold for the next time the wheel comes around so Antonina is a key officer and the reason she is a key officer is because of what she offers once you get all of her skills awakened and we're going to go ahead and take a, a look at all of her skills and we're going to review them talk about them and, and go in a little bit more depth with these okay skill one all right targets the enemy with a precision bombardment dealing damage to enemy troop damage coefficient is 1200 guys the the the, the 1200 the, not 1200 the 1200 damage coefficient is extremely valuable all right it's it's very very strong that's a very strong skill a lot of officers only have like a uh, thousand fifty damage coefficient so 12 1200 is really 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 good right and then she increases the skill damage by 25 percent when leading the, an artillery troop all right that's that's unbelievably that's an unbelievable amount of firepower right there guys like that's like that officer skill alone makes her worth it right uh, skill number two is increases damage by 25 percent when garrisoned right now you've got not only an officer that hammers out when you're potentially in the field right or an army group or whatever but you've got the 25 percent additional damage when garrisoned right when you let's say you, you you drop in you hot drop into a enemy in an in enemy swarm of, of army groups or whatever that 25 percent garrison damage is going to be vital that's going to allow you to really farm some kills and do some damage to the enemy as well as 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 the kind of long-term effect on that is you're you're depleting the the enemy reserve counts right that's that's huge for for the strategic side of the game 
Skill number three is increase artillery firepower by up to 30%. That's huge, right? Especially once you start to talk about getting into the, the mid to later games, right? Once you start getting into the conquest events and things like that, most of you guys are going to have at least one level 200 artillery unit that's that's maxed and probably has decent, if not like really, really high end parts. So that that 30% firepower is is huge. Skill number four is increases the officer skill damage by 25%. And this is where it gets interesting and why Antonina is so unbelievably unbelievably good. She's already good with her skills. She's just absolutely off the charts, an absolute beast of an officer. But when you take that baseline ridiculous skill set and then amplify it and increase that officer skill damage by 25%. Now you've got an absolute sledgehammer of an officer. And Antonina is the, in my opinion, the hardest hitting officer in terms of officer skills and skill damage in the game, period, the end. There's other great, great officers, but Antonina, in my opinion, still holds to date the crown for most valuable officer in the game, all right? Once you awaken her, all right, you increase the artillery troop firing range by one map grid, and this is gonna be something that you uh, later players are gonna, gonna relate to, and you guys are probably gonna have a little bit of a laugh thinking back into the days when this was a thing. I know I have before, but you earlier players may not have experienced this yet. When you don't have Antonina maxed, right, your artillery units can only shoot out to four grids. Once you max them, you can shoot up to five grids, right? That's crucial because think about it. When we go into base defense, right, if we've got an artillery unit, we don't have Antonina maxed, and we've got an artillery unit that can only cover up to four grids, and the enemy, whoever is attacking our base, whether it's base to base, whether it's army groups, whatever it is, let's, let's assume for the example that they've got Antonina maxed, right? If they've got Antonina maxed and we don't, they can shoot five grids, we can only shoot four. The math doesn't really equate there, right? That means that they can just freely bombard our base with our artillery units and they're not going to do, or we're not going to be able to do much, if any, damage to them or their, their troops because we can't reach them, right? And that gets incredibly hard to defend against that. Now, again, some of you guys in older servers like me are going to laugh at this, guys. I mean, there was a time when we were we were fighting in level three cities and I was I was just now getting close to finishing Antonina. But I had not at that time had her completely maxed. And I was going up against a guy that had uh, Antonina Max, we were base to basing each other. And there was like, literally he would just pop out and just hammer my base. And there was literally nothing I could do guys. And like, I would chase him down with a medium. I'd pop out of my base. I would try to smack him. He would just hop right back in his base. I mean, I, I couldn't win the fight, right? It was, it was hard. I could do a little bit of damage, but that extra grid guys makes such a massive difference that in my opinion, Antonina needs to be the absolute first officer you max in terms of skills. She's so, so important and does so much for you, not only early game, but late game. When I was starting the game back on server 13 about a year and a half ago, a lot of us didn't realize, we picked up on it fairly quickly, but a lot of us did not realize early on how vital Antonina is, right? If I could go back and redo it, guys, I would I would 1,000% without a shadow of a doubt, without a second thought, I would max Antonina right away. And I'm going to show you guys, especially you guys that are on earlier servers, exactly what I'm talking about in terms of the grid coverage in turn with uh, Antonina as well as how you can uh, manipulate the system if you don't already know this to your benefit if you do have Antonina and somebody you're attacking does not all right so what you can do is we're going to go ahead and pop our super heavy out all right and this is this is kind of a cheap way to do it but it is it is part of the game so we might as well talk about it right so we're going to back our super heavy off okay we're going to assume that my base is somewhere over here where my super heavy is going all right i've got antonina the base i'm about to attack does not right so i've got five grids of coverage the base i'm going to attack does not right they don't have antonina maxed so they can only cover four grids so what you guys need to do is whether it's your super heavy or your heavy or medium or whatever you decide to tank with tank the base with meaning start the attack with all right you guys need to go ahead and scout it out so if you guys click on the unit you guys can drag it around right and it'll show you the grid so if you guys will count wherever your unit's at one two three four so i'm four grids away right so technically speaking if i was going to attack my base right now assuming i didn't have antonina max i could still hit okay so we need to back off one more grid here all right and then we're going to go one two three four five this means that i am now five 
you, I am five tiles away or five grids away from this base, which means I can hit it. All right. And that means that the person I am attacking that does not have maxed Antonina cannot. Right. So now, in theory, what I would do, OK, is I'm going to leave my super heavy here real quick. I'm going to drag my artillery unit out. All right. So we're going to go ahead and drag again. We're assuming that we're, we're assuming that I'm going to be base to basing. All right. And for those of you guys still earlier in games that do do still have a lot of base to base and it's still pretty prevalent, prevalent. This will be a good good tip for you guys. that can help you. So I'm I'm five grids away. away right. Let's confirm one two, three, four, five. Okay. So I'm five grids away right now. I've got Max Antonina. I have the capability of shooting this far. So what I would do is I would drive right over here to this base. Okay. I would start the attack with my super heavy or whatever, again, whatever unit you're actually going to be tanking the base with, whether it's your super heavy, your heavy, medium, doesn't matter. You start the attack, boom, the attack starts. You're going to pull immediately. You give it just about a, a second, give it a, about a full second to target your super heavy and then go ahead and pull that super heavy all the way back to where it's even again with your super or with your artillery unit, right? Now we're five grids away. Now no unit in their base can attack you. However, what it does do is the base itself will actually stay locked onto your super heavy and you will you will receive the uh, base firepower damage, right? Which is generally speaking, very, very minimal. All right. You will receive that. But there is not enough. There, there's not any troops in their base that are garrisoned that have the capability of shooting. So all you're going to receive is very minimal base firepower damage. And the only thing that can reach that far is going to be the the actual base structure itself. But that's now locked on your super heavy and there's nothing that can that can hit your your artillery unit. Right. So all you got to do at this point is turn around, drag it, start the attack here in theory, right on the base. And then you all you have to do is just sit there. The super heavy will keep taking the taking the damage and then your artillery unit will just sit there and hammer the base away. And you guys will lose very minimal troops, right? Because it's just very little firepower from the actual base structure itself that's hitting your super heavy. So you guys might not even lose any troops. If you do, you'll lose very minimal. And then your your artillery unit is going to lose absolutely no troops because it's not getting targeted by any unit. There's no units that are capable of reaching it from that distance away, right? The full five grids. So not only can you uh, limit the, the amount of uh, troops that you lose, but you can also do a ton of damage and, and absolutely receive no, no, no damage at all, right? And there's nothing they can do about it. There's absolutely nothing they can do to defend this because they don't have the capability of reaching that far out now however you guys have to be careful once you guys are doing this depending on how you guys want to do it once it's uh, targeted your super heavy uh you know you're going to have your artillery unit with antonina to do this but don't start bringing out other troops to attack the base because then you bring those troops in to the four four or less grid range right that now those base troops can lock on to right and then that's how you can start to lose troops so when you do this trick just make sure you're only using your artillery unit that has Antonina on it. So that way you are not receiving troop losses. It's just the base structure firepower that's hitting your super heavy and none of the troops actually garrisoned in the base. So that's a little trick you guys can use earlier game. Obviously that doesn't work anymore because I'm in a, I'm in server 14, right? Server 14 has been around a while. I've been playing the game for about a year and a half and I personally don't know a single person, even free to play players that don't have Antonina Max, right? So it's just not a thing anymore. However, for you guys that are earlier in the game, it, it is definitely a thing. But with this being said, that is why Antonina is so important because not only is it gonna give you a, a massive advantage in early game, but how she's still so important in later game for, for players like myself that have been around a while is because we're sending in these conquest events and you guys have watched some of my streams and some of my videos, we're constantly sending troops and artillery units and super heavies and mediums and light tanks, right? We've got all these different army groups, right? Light army, light tank groups, medium groups, super heavy groups, artillery groups. So we've got all these different specific unit groups that we're sending actual units to. And one of those, one of the most prevalent for, for taking down bases and taking them down quickly is artillery units, right? Or artillery army groups. And pretty much every artillery unit in these army groups now is Antonina. So 
it's it's she's vital even to us later game because of her her skills right we talked about we're going to go back and we're going to go back and and take a little bit of uh, a review again right but she's got all these skills and and once you get to her fourth skill right her she she amplifies the officer skill damage she already does by 25 percent. that's just off the wall you guys want to talk about absolutely demoing a base guys this past event we had some of the strongest and and literally one of the uh, let me rephrase that we had some of the strongest but literally the strongest player in warpath in our conquest event right these guys are unimaginably strong like their, their bases are just off the charts strong but when you have two or three full army groups with 15 artillery units all max Dan all max antonina right these skills are just pummeling the base right i mean they you just absolutely erase a base even the strongest base in the entire game literally you can erase a base very 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 quickly if you've got an army group full of max antonina artillery units it's just unbelievable how strong she is so again she is not only the most important officer you guys need a max right out of the gate as soon as you start the game but she is also 100 percent still extremely valuable Late, later in the game in my opinion like i said she is the single most important officer in the entire game period the end her skills are just too strong and too good to be overlooked and overshadowed and guys don't make the same mistake i did and a lot of other players did and wait for a while to max her out max her out right away that's the only officer you need to focus on until she is completed she is going to help you tremendously and she's also going to save you a lot of headaches i promise hopefully that hopefully that helps you guys hopefully that little that little uh super heavy trick uh, will help you guys too again it's it's kind of an exploit in the game but it, it is part of the game so if it's there you might as well go ahead and use it right it was used against me i used it against others and it works i mean it just is what it is right if somebody doesn't want that done to them then they need to adapt and they need to prioritize antonina like i'm telling all you guys to do so make sure you guys use this stuff to your advantage right max her out you can utilize her until everybody starts to catch up and get her and then even at that point once army groups become prevalent right even when everybody's got her maxed army groups are extremely prevalent she's going to be able to really not only help you tremendously in terms of base to basing and things like that but she's going to be able to help you uh, a great deal on defense as well as your alliance in terms of army groups so Make sure you max Antonina. She will help you a lot. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was excited to make this video. Um, I think this will really be a benefit to a lot of you guys, especially you guys that are in earlier servers, right? Make sure you prioritize her. I appreciate you guys watching today. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. I will catch you guys on the next one.